Barakati Yahweh Shai, Barakati Yahweh, Barakati Yahweh Shai, Barakati Yahweh, Barakati Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Makafu Dash, Dabana to the Apostles and Elders, Bishops of Great Millstone, Shalom to the elect, that's what these lessons are for. Now, what I have queued up here on the screen is the West Indian Parade 2022, Part 2 Labor Day NYC. And, um, you know, this is this is what you know a lot of our people, you know, the tribe of Benjamin, you know, was into today. This looks like uh, somewhere in Brooklyn, Eastern Parkway. You know, our people are you know all into this stuff, man. You know. This is no different from what happened going back to the time of Egypt. I pulled this up to give an example of what our people are into on this high holy day. Okay? Because for us brothers in the know, we know that it's the day of atonement, man. Alright? Leviticus 23 and 27. Also on the tenth day of this seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. Now let's look up that word atonement. That's where the so-called Jew gets uh, Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur from. You see it says down here, it's from the Hebrew, Kaparayim. Kaparayim. It says redemptions, atonements. All right? And pretty much what it is, is for all your sins of the year, you know, the Heavenly Father allowed for you to make an atonement for those sins with this high holy day okay it says here it shall be in high hope and hot so like in holy convocation unto you and you shall afflict your souls afflicting your souls meaning what going on a fast and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh now Right now in this society, we're not making no offerings by fire. We, we keep the fast, but we're not making an offering by fire. Okay? So are we truly keeping the Day of Atonement the right way? No. We're rehearsing the righteous acts. You know, when you go to Judges 5 and 11. They that are delivered from the noise of arches in the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. And the places of drawing water are talking about captivity. And uh, America is going to be the place where the, um, the arches, the noise of arches is going to be, you know, heard. Proceed to uh, Psalms, the 91st chapter. It speaks about the noise and pestilence. That's talking about here in America. Because America will be destroyed by nuclear destruction. Okay, and these different nations around the world are gonna uh, ultimately shoot ICBMs upon America and destroy it with a lot of you people in it, man. You see, this is the reason why I pulled this up here, man. Yeah, because the majority of our people, oh, yeah. this is what they're into, man. They're not seeking the Lord, you know. They they're into this this bacchanal. Okay, this is this is what's called a bacchanal, and they have it. You know, in a lot of these different um, islands and whatnot, which the Bacchanal really goes back to an idol uh, by the name of Bacchus. Okay? So, are they serving the Lord when they go out there to do that? No. You know, you got a whole bunch of debauchery, you know, going on in this in this uh, so-called uh, parade. You know, and you see the different flags. You know, this is where, you know, a lot of our people were taken as, as slaves. Okay? This is what they're into. You know, if you watch it long enough, you're going to see a bunch, you say, there you go, you see a bunch of women whining up on men and, you know, you know, doing this, you know, doing this different, different madness, man. They all into this stuff, man. It don't matter where you come. And that's why the Most High is going to destroy a lot of our people. Hey, because we seek, we living in a time where you're supposed to be seeking the Lord, all right? Because all the prophecies are happening and, uh... The destruction of America is right around the corner. Okay, that's why you're constantly hearing about, 
you know, the proliferation of nuclear missiles and, uh, you know, North Korea testing nuclear missiles, you know, uh, tensions between Russia and America, all around the world is happening. The prophecies are coming to pass. But our people, you know, they're so blind that they don't seek the Lord, man. But guess what? In the time of the Lord's visitation, that's when you stupid ass niggas, you know, in spics, you're going to want to start crying for the Lord to help you. Oh, oh Lord, please get me out of this jam. Oh, my God, if I, if you save me now, I'll, I'll forever, you know, be grateful. And all that madness, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't give the most high a song in a dance. All right? And that's why you're doing it for Bacchus. And this is not nothing new. So, this is uh, Exodus 32 and 1. I'll start at 1 and read down. And the point some, it's around here, uh, 6. It says, And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, Up, make us gods. Why? Because they were being impatient, man. Mind you, they had just came out of a heathenistic land. Okay, I'm talking about the land of Egypt with idols and different um, customs that they learned in Egypt. Okay, it says, Which shall go before us? For as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we would not what is become of him. Right, because when you read the scriptures, you read how Moses was up in the mount for a certain amount of time. All right? It says, And Aaron said unto them, Break out the golden, break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives and of your sons and of your daughters and bring them unto me. And the people break off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them unto Aaron and he received them at their hand and fashioned it uh, and fashioned it with a graving tool after he had made it a molten calf and they said these be thy gods O Israel which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt it says and when Aaron saw it he built an altar before it and Aaron made proclamation and said tomorrow is a feast of the Lord it says and they rose up early on the morrow and offered burnt offerings and burnt peace offerings and the people sat down to eat and to drink and to rise up to play now what were they playing were they played in were they playing tag or were they playing hide and seek no they were all into the, the debauchery you know that you you'd see when you go in go back to this here all right they were all in all into the debauchery you see this this madness here they were all into debauchery, which is what they learned among them heathen nations, man. You know what I'm saying? And our people are still into this madness today. What does it say down here? To laugh. Uh, really what it's going into is, is, is debauchery. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what it says here. To laugh outright. Uh, to sport, laugh, mock, play, make sport, to jest. They wasn't doing no stand-up comedy, man. They were doing, you know, what you see here and worse. Or if you uh, remember uh, what was known as a freak nick, you know, things like that. Because that's the type of things they learn among the heathen nations, man. Hey. So, Isaiah 65 and 1, I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, Behold, behold me, behold me, unto a nation that was not called by my name. Which is talking about our people because we got that name later on, right? It says, I have spread out my hand all day unto a rebellious people. And that's the people who we get the most you know, uh, flack from you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And why is that? Because you are a rebellious people, man. 
Okay? It says, which walketh in the way that is not good after their own thoughts. A people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face and sacrificeth in gardens and burneth incense unto altars of bricks. It says, uh, which remain among the graves and lodge in the mount in the monuments which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things is in their vessels. So that's you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. A lot of you West Indians, you like to eat that conch, you like to you like to eat that seafood and whatnot, man. The only thing you're supposed to be eating that's in the uh, in the waters is, is fish. And, and the fish is supposed to be a fish that's kosher, meaning that it has fins and scales. Okay, you know our people are all into eating pork and, and, and different abominable foods. The Heavenly Father didn't set that up for you to eat. Okay, and that's why our people have uh, the greatest, you know, uh, um, statistic of you know diabetes, high blood pressure, so on and so forth, because it's your diet that's doing it to you. Okay, it's the reason why it affects you more than it affects the other nations, because the Heavenly Father gave you commandment not to do so and you are constantly doing that okay you see what I'm saying so you know when are, when are our people gonna learn they gonna learn when the Heavenly Father bring that judgment down on them man hey because judgment is coming for these people man the two thirds they gonna be judged man they gonna be judged they gonna be destroyed man you know, so let me go to um. Let me see. One, one moment. Zechariah thirteen and eight. It reads, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord Yahweh Shai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. Hey, so those people who, who, who do not want to seek the Lord Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai while, while, the, while, while the getting is good, so to speak, or like the scriptures say, seek the Lord while he may be found, guess what? When the time come, you're going to be destroyed. All right? When this judgment comes, when the time of Jacob's trouble comes, you're going to be judged. All right? All right? You see what I'm saying? It says, and I will bring the third part through the fire. That third part is talking about the elect, the one third. Okay. See, it says here, the third shall be left therein, but the third shall be left therein. So you got a pie, all right? And you got one third of that, that pie is going to be the elect, and two thirds of the pie is going to be those that are destroyed. So the majority of our people are going to be destroyed, man. Scriptures say as as a wave is greater than a drop. All right. So multitudes of people are gonna die, man. And that time is coming. The time of Jacob's trouble is coming. A lot of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are gonna die horrible deaths, man. According to the Holy Bible, according to the Lord, man. All right. For your disobedience, for your 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 uh your insolence, it says. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. And that's why you have men in this truth that are catching hell, that are, you know, being purified. All right. And I will try and I will uh, try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. And a lot of you don't even know the name of the Most High. The majority of you don't. You calling on Jesus Christ or you calling on some other name. That's not the name of the Most High. The name of the Most High is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. And another thing, if you do not believe in the son of the Most High, you cannot receive salvation, man. All right? You see what I'm saying? So you got to believe on both and believe in those names. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my power. And that's only talking about the third part. The majority of you people, man, like I like I keep saying, man, you people are gonna be destroyed, you broads. Look at look at this madness, man. Look at him, look at him, man. 
They might as well be having they might as well have be having a big ass orgy out there, man. Look at this, look at this fat. Is that look at this, look at this broad, man. This is madness, man. You Jamaicans, you people from Guyana, Haiti, and all that, man. You out there, man, the most high, you know, ain't dealing with y'all, man. Alright, first of all, it's a day of atonement. And you know they eating and drinking and having a good time out there. You know, they doing the same thing that it said uh uh in the scripture that I read earlier. What it say here? It says, and the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play. So this is what's going on right now, man. You know? And as you read on, uh, it says, and the Lord said unto Moses, go get thee down for thy people, which thou bringest out of the land of Egypt, have corrupted themselves. This is what you're doing right now. You're corrupting yourself. All this carnival bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Barbados and, and Trinidad and all these different places, man. All, all this carnival madness, man. That shit is all bullshit, man. It's a lock here. You know, it's, it's going to lead to your destruction. It says, uh, they have turned aside quickly. You see that? They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten calf and have worshipped it and have sacrificed unto it and said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which have brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen that this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore let me alone that my wrath may wax hot against them and I may consume them and I will make thee a great nation. And as you go into it, Moses besought the Most High. But see, this time that's coming, man, the Heavenly Father's going to destroy these people, man. He's going to destroy these people, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, death is coming, man. The time of Jacob's trouble is coming. All right? And you're going to be on the losing side of that battle. Alright? Giving all praises to you. How about Shimei Shai Bashim Kakuda? Shalom to the elect.